Well, here's a good fraught subject. Is trans acceptable? Ah, uh, look, suddenly the transgender discussions and debates have become intense, and as is often the case, uh, debate and conflict is intense in the U.S. Uh, included are such questions as, can I fire someone uh, because he or she changes gender? Uh, should I allow trans women to use the ladies' toilet? Should my healthcare system provide gender counseling to those requiring it? Should trans women be allowed to compete in women's sports? And should I allow teaching of gender choice and preference in schools to young people? I mean, these are big issues that are really upsetting people. And for reference, by the way, there are a few acronyms and terms that keep popping up. Cisgender, that's C-I-S, uh, refers to people with conventional gender identity, male or female. The TERFs, T-E-R-F-S, are trans-exclusionary radical feminists. These are women who believe that trans women are just more examples of uh, men oppressing women. TGNBs are transgender binary minors, and that old standby LGBTQ. And if you don't know what that means, you're really living in a previous century. As you cannot help but have noticed, there are those who vociferously advocate for the trans community, and of course others who decry and even disdain it. Um, and uh, really demand that we deny the community any kind of support. So I, I look at both views. First of all, those who say, yes, it is acceptable. Well, look, gender-affirming care, that aspect of medicine that provides counseling and medical assistance of different sorts for trans people, undoubtedly does a good job of protecting the mental health and well-being of these people. The healthcare delivery system is simply doing what it's supposed to do, that is, assisting people in physical and, and emotional need of help. Uh, and much of the moral outrage uh, that seems to <laughs> appear in this debate by the trans opposition is not based on science or common sense, but like gay marriage, for example, really reveals homophobia. And, and we've been leaving that behind in recent years, haven't we? Haven't you noticed? <laughs> Look, we are not savages who leave our sick and elderly out on a rock to die. We, we help those who need our help. That's the way we are. Okay, well, what about those who say, no, it is not uh, acceptable? Uh, well, first of all, uh, dealing with trans people in the healthcare system is expensive. Uh, young people undergoing medical treatment like hormone treatment, surgical alterations, <laughs> and the like require the attention of exp expensive specialists like surgeons, endocrinologists, and others. The healthcare system is overburdened as it is. Uh, and many women feel threatened by trans women who are really men when they encounter them in toilets, uh, changing rooms, or most of all in locker rooms. Keep them out. Uh, the notion that uh, this whole subject is an undesired and unattractive mode of behavior has attracted the attentions of some smart and successful people like uh, J.K. Rowling. Thoughtful people see how aberrant all this is, and, and they're speaking out. In any case, it's against God's law. God said there are only two genders, men and women, Adam and Eve. That's enough for me. I'm a God-fearing, Bible-reading, church-going person. Don't try to change me. And all this also goes against everything I knew as a youth. We're being hijacked by crazy, radical, social terrorists. Don't let them get away with it. Well, those are some pretty powerful arguments on both sides of this very intense and uh, fraught and controversial question. So you'll probably be waiting to hear what my take might be. Well, here it is. Chill out, everybody. These are troubled, vulnerable, and traumatized people. Give them a hand. The uh, hysterical opponents to doing so, Texas politicians and people of that ilk, are themselves probably bigoted and homophobic. Trans opposition is almost enshrined in the canon of far-right groups and religious fundamentalists of the sort who adulate Trump. Enough said. <laughs> Get over it and grow up. This is the 21st century. 
Well, if you like this, and I hope you did, you might also pre appreciate two of my other videos. Uh, and please subscribe. Bye-bye.